Hello there, it's your girl Daphne, back with another video. This time I'm bringing you fun laundry room DIYs. We're gonna get started with the first DIY, which is a lost sock holder. I purchased this um, sign from Joanne a couple of weeks ago. It was like on clearance, it was marked down. I probably paid, I think $2 for it, if that. I thought that it would be really cool. I didn't know at the time what I was going to use it for, but I decided that I would be able to turn it into a really cute DIY for the laundry room. So I'm going in with this um, folk art wax. Um, this is the first time that I'm using it. Um, I also purchased it at Joann's and it looks absolutely amazing. I love the color that it's giving to this raw wood. So I'm making sure that I'm covering all sides and I'm just wiping it off so that um, you get that really rich effect. The other items that I'm going to be using are these two wooden shapes. Um, they're cutouts that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. And I'm also going to be using a metal basket from the Dollar Tree, as well as a couple of magnets, uh, loose magnets that I had um, at my house. So I am just putting on a coat of the same wax to the back side of the cutouts. Now to attach the basket, I'm just using those staples. They're 9 sixteenths. I purchased them at Home Depot. I thought that they would look absolutely cute um, attaching the basket to the wood and just make it like look really seamless. So I'm just pounding in these two staples um, into the wood to attach it. So I decided to give this uh, DIY a little color. So I just um, selected um, some craft paper that I also picked up at Joann's a couple of weeks ago. This is such a cute pattern. Um, it has kites on it. And I'm just gonna be putting it on the front side of these two cutouts. The side that I put the wax on is actually going to be the reverse side because I wanted to make sure that I did a nice clean finish on both sides. So I'm just attaching the paper to the cutouts with a little Mod Posh. And to finish this off, I'm just doing a little sign. I'm just putting um, some stickers on the front of one of the cutouts. It's gonna spell out socks. And I really love these um, stickers. Um, I have uppercase and lowercase. Originally, I was thinking that I was gonna do all of the letters in uppercase, but I decided against that midway. I thought that Mixing up the uppercase and the lowercase will look really cool. So you'll see me here um, just making a quick change. And I think the end result looks amazing. So I'd like to introduce myself again. My name is Daphne. I want to welcome anyone that just clicked on my video for the first time today. Welcome. 
and to all of my loyal subscribers welcome back I hope that you enjoy these DIYs they're very fun it's the first time that I've ever done anything like this um, they're very colorful and I cannot wait to finish my laundry room so that I can hang these up so leave me a comment down below and let me know which of the three DIYs from today are your favorite. Now my second DIY is so easy. It's just a lost change uh, jar. What I did was on my Cricut Explore Air 2, I cut out a little craft paper. I selected one of the images that is in Design Space and it was a cut and draw image. And because I was using the craft paper, I thought that this would be the perfect thing. So I cut that out on the Cricut. I then, I didn't have to weed it because this isn't vinyl. So I just pull, peeled it off like a regular sticker and I'm attaching it to the jar with a little Mod Podge. I attached it and then I'm also going on the outside and I'm just giving it a nice um, layer. And then I'm just going in with a little twine. I'm gonna be wrapping it around and making a nice little bow and that is it. It's absolutely cute. You can use this in your laundry room and once you empty out the pockets, all the change is mom's. So this just lets everybody know that they need to empty out their pockets before it gets to the laundry room or finders keepers, losers weepers. Now our third DIY is a beautiful laundry room sign. It's gonna be very colorful. I'm just going in, um, I'm repurposing a sign um, from Easter. I purchased this years ago from Pier One and I'm just going in with that same folk art wax that I used um, in the first DIY. I'm giving it a nice uh, coat. I just want to have it blend in and have the two signs um, look very similar in color. This has an under layer of a gray paint. So once you put on that wax, it just looks absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going in um, and wiping it off and making sure that the coverage is um, not too heavy. Then I'm gonna go in with these transfers. Actually, no, they're actually vinyl removable decals that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and then I'm also going to be using that same um, craft paper that I used from the first DIY. I'm just going to be covering up the base of the sign and I'm going to be cutting it out to size. Now I'm using this exacto knife that I purchased at the Dollar Tree and it gave me so much trouble I obviously don't know how to use it. So if anyone else has used this same X-Acto knife from the Dollar Tree, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have problems because as I was cutting, the blade kept slipping out and it really never got as tight as I thought that it should once I attached it. So just leave me a comment down below and let me know um, if I did it incorrectly or if this is just how you know it works and I should just purchase one I guess from another place so just leave me a comment down below but we struggled and I was able to um, cut it out and not make too much of a mess in the corner but it was okay because I was able to fix it with a little um, twine so we're just gonna continue to cut this out and then I'm gonna use just a little bit of hot glue to attach it down to the sign because just in case I want to take this off and actually reuse um, the Easter sign, it won't be damaged at all. Mm -hmm. 
So guys, this past week, I received amazing news that my channel is now being monetized. I was able to reach the 4,000 watch hour requirement. So now my channel is running ads. So please continue to support me and please make sure that you watch the ads to support my channel. And I am just so thankful for all of the support that you guys have been giving me thus far. And I just wanted to say thank you. So guys, I just wanted to um, give another book um, suggestion. As you know, I'm in a book club and our current book read is Sorry I'm Late, I Didn't Want to Come by Jessica Pan. And this book is absolutely amazing. It's about uh, introverts, who's the author, one year journey of saying yes and putting herself in situations that are a little uncomfortable but ultimately leads to growth within her life and if you are an introvert i think that you really should read this book because it is life-changing and i just wanted to just mention it um, so check it out if you're interested and if you do decide to read it um, make sure that you leave me a comment either here on YouTube or on Instagram. And my name is the same, Daphne's Homescape on Instagram. I wanna thank everyone for watching this video. I want to remind you if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video like I hope you did, please give it a thumbs up and also share with any friends and family that might like my content. And until the next time, have a blessed day.